What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition, HPI. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free channel collective reading for all signs. Cast your side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free channel collective reading. Love you guys so much. Okay, so... The Staley T for 12 9 of 2022, 9 29 a.m. Love you guys so much. Uh, thanks for all the subscribes and shares to my channel, uh, subscribes to my channel, likes, and all that. And most importantly, the shares on social media and word of mouth. I love it. Thanks. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was um, I heard high vibrational beings, health is about to start going up in a huge positive way. Low vibrational uh, beings, health is about to start declining in fast in a very fast, negative way. I heard binding spells have uh, backfired and will continue to backfire. And energy harvesting has already backfired and will continue to backfire. So you plug it in how it resonates. Well, it serves them right, and that's just the truth. So binding spells and energy harvesting has already backfired and will continue to backfire. But it's because these low vibrational people, they don't know how to become independent on their own and use their own positive energy and they have to energy they feel they need to energy harvest or energy suck off other people um that's why they shouldn't do that and that's just the truth that's dark arts all day long but for you how vibrational beings i think you have escaped from this situation um or you've protected or blocked your energy or you've moved or you've done something very positive to protect yourself, your energy. Maybe you found a hidden camera out of your home because you can energy harvest, energy share through hidden cameras too. Because that's open, basically open, open portal into somebody's home stealthily. Um, and that's just the truth. Um, so you can do it that way too. You can um, do it through um, other ways, but... However that resonates, whether you found a hidden camera, you've moved, you've uh, done protection rituals, light side protection spells, um, covered your crown, return to cinders, whatever you're doing, high vibrational beings, it's working. It's working. It's working. You're combating the dark arts. Kudos to you. I feel you can be masculine or feminine over here. These people can be masculine or feminine. Your health's about to go up in a very positive way. Theirs is about to go down in a very negative way, but it really serves them right because they shouldn't have done what they did to you anyways. And that's just the truth. Justice, I heard take it, take it upright, justice upright. These people set you up in a huge way in your city in the past, a huge way. You are not able to get proper legal justice, but through many series of chain of events, you're about to get universal justice and legal justice through many series of chain of events. Okay, so whoever you are, you reside in a city. For some, you reside in a city currently. For some, you used to. Okay, so for some, you currently reside in a city. For some, you used to. But it sounds like when all this energy harvesting and prevention of actual legal justice and um, um, the binding spells and all this shit, whether you have already moved from a city or you, currently, or you still live in a city, um, it was in a city in an urbanized area. For some, it sounds like you've already moved out of the city. For some, you still reside in the city. You're you're fighting back and standing up for yourself. Standing all the way up. Whether you move, I mean, you can stand up all the way up for yourself and move. Um, but it's all in the personal choice or choices you, one makes. And that's just the truth. But how that resonates, whether you still currently reside in urbanized, city and nice area, or you don't. How that resonates and applies for you, how vibrational being, where your health's about to go up in a very positive way. Um, they prevented you from getting legal justice, true legal justice, I think, in the court of law in the past, um, or court of laws in the past, and they um, they set you up. They set you up 
in your city in some shape, form, or fashion. But energy has shifted. It will continue to shift. And I heard basically through many series of chain events, you're about to get legal justice and universal justice in the form of your health going to go up. And there is about to decline. And legal justice. So justice in the form of actual legal justice and in the court of law or laws and um, um, your health going to go up. Kudos to you. For some, I feel this might be a settlement, a payout, a winning court win or something like that. Which if you, if it's a large lump sum of money, you'll have that money and you're a high vibrational being. You won't spend it on drugs, alcohol, sex, prostitution, money laundering, or not money laundering, but um, human or sex trafficking or whatever the hell these crazy ass people do. Um, you'd be able to spend it on your health and your wellness or your child or children's health and wellness and things that will promote your health and wellness. So justice about to be served in the court of law and universally. Uh, I heard their health is about to start declining in a huge way. I feel for some, I feel for some of the reason they set you up. I think they stole money from your ass. I, that's exactly what I think. I didn't hear that. That's just intuitively what I feel. But we are pulling the justice card. For some, you could have Libra in your chart um, or be dealing with the dark side Libra or how that resonates and applies, okay? A cancer, low vibrational cancer is about to ever regret getting involved with the low vibrational uh, Libra. A low vibrational cancer is about to ever regret getting involved with the low vibrational Libra. So you plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages here. Perspective. I heard take it upright. So we have the noose with Toad. That's my karmic card. I think before I channel in, I just want to say, I think this is the karmics, the low vibrational beings, the ones that don't treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values, but you do, sir, ma'am. Um, whether you already have moved out of the city, you still, you're standing up in the city, you stand it up, stood up by moving out of the city, or however you stood up for yourself, and the city is involved, whether you've already moved out of the city or you still stay, reside in the city. Um, the karmics basically have, um, they have basically cursed themselves, is what I feel. I didn't hear any of this. It's just intuitively what I feel. I think the karmics have basically cursed themselves with the noose energy and the karmic card to bad health. Because they mess with the high vibrational being. Somebody that doesn't hurt or harm anybody is what I feel here. I don't think you go around hurting or harming people. You most certainly do not. You are a healer in a huge way. Okay, it's confirmation. I heard you most certainly do not. You don't. You don't go around hurting and harming people, committing crimes, um, low vibrational activity. I don't feel you're a drug dealer, take drugs, alcoholic, prostitute. Um, you are very upright individual and citizen, but yet your city, whether you still live in the city or you moved away from it, they decided to set your ass up with the noose card because they're karmics. And so now they're about to get universal karma in the form of their health about to decline. Some, they are severe alcoholics. Some, they are becoming alcoholics. Some, they are just fake. And they stole money. Human and sex trafficking. Some, they're serious drug users. Some, they're serious sex addicts. Okay, so we got the whole gambit. So... For some, they're serious drug users. For some, they're serious sex addicts. For some, they're almost alcoholics. For some, they're already alcoholics. 
And for some, they're just fake asses and they stole money from you via human and sex trafficking. So that's very dark energy, very, very dark energy of these people. And I do feel it's a entire group that set your ass up, whether they are sex addicts, um, almost alcoholics, already alcoholics, drug addicts, or just fake asses that are greedy asses and like to human and sex traffic people. How that resonates and applies. Perspective upright. Someone's perspective has already changed in this and someone's perspective is going to continue to change in this. Someone's perspective has already changed in this and someone's perspective is going to continue to change in this. And these nasty ass karmics don't like that the perspectives are changing. And the nasty, oh God, I heard nasty ass karmic. So the nasty ass karmics, the toad energy, karmic card, they don't like that somebody's perspective is changing. For some, sorry ma'am, your perspective could have already changed in this situation or is already, or is about to change. How that resonates and applies, okay? But they don't like that your perspective's changing. Uh, you're a high vibrational being. You're a high vibrational being. You're a high vibrational being. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Whether your perspective has already changed upright or it's about to change upright with a 555 change energy. But these nasty ass karmics that basically made money off you, sir, ma'am, high vibrational being, via human sex trafficking, whether they're almost alcoholic, already an alcoholic, a drug addict, or a, a sex addict, they don't like that you, high vibrational being's perspective is changing on the injustice done to these people over here, high vibrational being that don't hurt or harm a damn soul because it makes them look bad it makes them look bad oh and the one they're they're just greedy they um human and sex traffic people but they have a false mask because they're greedy they're greedy but they don't like that your perspective is changing on the situation or it's going to change they don't like that with a perspective card but they don't like it because it rips off their false mask and exposes them for who they really are and that's just the truth. If somebody down here in the high vibrational category needs to hear this. Because imagine if they were stole from. Imagine if they were human or sex trafficked. Imagine if somebody stole from them to feed their alcoholism or their drug uses or their drug usage or their sex addictions. They wouldn't appreciate it very much. And that's just the truth. It should be about equality. Equality. No discrimination. Oh, age, race, ethnicity, um, sexual orientation, or what have you, what have you. Be my needs to hear that. One of these karmics is about to get so embarrassed through many series of chain events, so embarrassed. One will move soon. One really wishes you would move, but they know you're not going to. So they are going to move. Okay, so one of these karmics, karmic card, is uh, about to get very highly publicly embarrassed soon. I heard they uh, wish that you would move. They would wish that you would move, but I heard they know you're not going to. Um, you're most certainly not. Okay, I heard you're not. You're not. One of you guys has already moved out of the city, but one, you're still in the city, and I heard you're not going to move. And that's your free right and will not to move. That's your personal choice. But they, that was their personal choice to human sex traffic you, feed their addictions off you, and to um, uh, basically treat you like a slave. And they had no right or authority to do so. And that's just the truth. That is the choice they made, which is a terrible one, I might add. But um, however this resonates, one of these karmics, these nasty-ass karmics down here in this category, they're about to get so publicly embarrassed. I heard they wish they you would move, but I heard you're not going to move. Um, and so they're going to end up moving soon. Maybe their perspective is going to change in this soon or is about to. I mean, but the thing is, is they shouldn't have never done this to you. And that's just the truth. They should never have. All right, I'm closing it out. I love you guys so much. Namaste.